The bony orbits are cone-shaped recesses that contain the globes, extraocular muscles, blood vessels, nerves, adipose and connective tissues, and most of the lacrimal apparatus. The junction of the frontal, sphenoid and ethmoid bones of the cranium and the lacrimal, maxillary, palatine and zygomatic bones of the face forms the orbit. Each orbit presents a roof, floor, medial wall, lateral wall, and an apex. The roof of the orbit is composed of the orbital plate of the frontal bone and the lesser wing of the sphenoid bone. On the anterolateral surface of the roof is the lacrimal fossa where the lacrimal gland is located. The medial wall is exceedingly thin and is formed by a portion of the frontal process of the maxilla, the lacrimal bone, the ethmoid bone, and the body of the sphenoid bone. On the interior surface of the medial wall is the lacrimal groove for the lacrimal sac. The floor of the orbit, which is also the roof of the maxillary sinus, is made up of the maxilla, zygoma, and palatine bones. The lateral wall is the thickest wall and is formed by the greater wing of the sphenoid bone and the zygoma. The posterior portion of the orbit, or the apex, is basically formed by the optic canal, optic foramen, and the superior orbital fissure. The optic canal and the superior and inferior orbital fissures allow various structures to enter and exit the orbit and establish communication between the orbit and middle cranial fossa. The optic canal forms an angle of about 37 degrees with the sagittal plane of the head. It is bound medially by the body, superiorly by the lesser wing and inferiorly and laterally by the optic strut inferior root of the sphenoid bone. Coursing through the optic canal are the ophthalmic artery and optic nerve. The superior orbital fissure, a triangular opening located between the greater and lesser wings of the sphenoid bone, allows the passage of cranial nerves, oculomotor, trochlear, ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal and of ducens, as well as the ophthalmic veins. At the orbital apex, the inferior and lateral walls of the orbit are separated by the inferior orbital fissure through which the maxillary branch of the trigeminal nerve E courses. The medial lip of the inferior orbital fissure is notched by the inferorbital groove, which passes forward in the orbital floor to become the infraorbital canal that opens on the interior surface of the maxilla as the infraorbital foramen. 